Hi everyone. Um, oh, it's a beautiful day here in the state of Maine. Just beautiful. Muggy, but I'm not complaining because it won't last long now. <laughs> it's going to start going the other way. A lot of people have told me that they haven't been notified about my videos. And they are subscribed to my channel, but then they go look and they're not subscribed. Well, I don't know what's happening, but anyways, I wanted to let you folks know that, uh, Lord willing, you can count on me putting a video out every Sunday around the same time. So, whether you're notified or not, um, just know that, that I'll have a video out there. I just wanted to let you know that. And I'll never ask for money. I have somebody that continues to, uh, they get on my channel and they pretend that they're me and they're asking for money. Well, I'll never do that. They they stole my picture and they're, it's fraud. It's just nothing but fraud, but I wanted to warn you folks about that. Um, you know, the Lord spoke to me again this past week. Um, he said, he said, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. I'm happy to do whatever I can for Jesus. I truly am. I'm so happy to work for the Lord. You know, um, I uh, I totally depend on the Holy Spirit and for and the Lord for content for my videos. I truly do. I I, uh, I always pray, Lord, please help me. Because I'm not sure what you would have me to share. Because I, I want to feed your sheep, Lord. I want to. It's just I am not sure what to share sometimes. Uh, but the Lord is faithful. And last night, um, he spoke to me in the night twice. And, um, you know, I need to mention right here, I, I often talk about the Lord speaking to me. And I told, I told this to somebody lately. You have to listen closely to hear the Lord's voice. A lot of you folks have heard the voice of the Lord and you just probably don't realize it. You know, it's that verse of scripture that keeps, it keeps coming to your remembrance. All day you keep thinking about this scripture and then you look it up and it's perfect for your situation. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to you, and uh, and you'll be going about your daily tasks, and and a, a song. Sometimes uh, I've had a secular song come to me even, but it's certain words in the song that really I can tell what the Lord was meaning, you know. But it, it's important to listen closely. Uh, very closely because a lot of times you're looking every direction but sometimes it's just better like the Bible says to be still and know that I am God well uh, you know most of the time I find it's better just to be still and don't don't try so hard but just trust the Lord and just then he'll speak to you a scripture a hymn a uh, maybe a couple of words, maybe he'll speak to you in a different way than he does me. You might see a road sign, a license plate. It's hard to say, but the Lord speaks in a lot of different ways. I just wanted to mention that, but anyway, um, I just, I again, I wasn't sure what to share this morning, and I prayed last night, Lord, and it's Sunday morning, early Sunday morning right now, um, and I prayed, Lord, please help me. Help me to know, because I, I want to share what you would have me to share, you know. Anyway, in the night last night, these words to this old hymn, and I need to sing this again. I think I, I, my wife and I, I think we sung this before, but it's the chorus in this song. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Well, I know there's some people listening uh, because the Lord spoke these things to me last night. I know there are people listening and you've wondered, you've wondered, does the, does the Lord really care about me personally? Does he know what I'm going through? 
does he really care? Well, he's trying to get it through to you, through the likes of me. <laughs> I'm, I laugh at myself, really, but he's trying to get it through to you. Mark, feed my sheep. And and he's he wants me to tell you that, and he walks with you, and he talks with you, and he tells you that you are his own. I know that's for me too, but it's especially for you. That's just beautiful, that song. And this scripture came to mind. I wanted to share just a few, just a couple scriptures, and then I want to share a dream that I had last night. If my page will stop turning. <laughs> I know I'm foolish. I can't help it. It's just natural. <laughs> Gotta have some laughter here. Anyway. It's found in John chapter 6, and it's verse 35 and 40. I'll skip a few verses there just to save time, but 35 it says, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Verse uh, 40, And this is the will of him that sent me, uh, and then, of course, this is Jesus speaking. And this is the will of him that sent me, God the Father, uh, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So there you go. You know, the, uh, there's so many scriptures about just believing on Jesus and you'll be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And uh, it's it's important to to know Jesus, to believe in Him. And uh, I just love the Lord. I I just love to draw close to to the Lord. I want to draw closer and closer, as close as I can, to the Lord. And that's my heart's desire is that all of you do as well. Anyways, I wanted to share this dream as well that I had just last night. Um, and this goes perfectly with the, with the old hymn that came to me earlier. Um, you know, I, I, in this dream I was, I was like in a foreign country. Now I know that the Holy Spirit is going to cause just the right people to be watching and listening to this right now because I know that God gave me this dream last night. I was in this foreign country and uh, I was in a church somewhere and I saw this pastor and I don't know if he could speak English or not, you know. Um, he'd have to have a translator I guess to hear what I'm about to say but the Holy Spirit will make a way. God will make a way. I know He will. But this, this uh, preacher of the gospel in a church in a foreign country, I walked up to him, and I could see Bibles. I could see Bibles uh, like on a pew or someplace on a table, and I I went over and picked one up, and I went through the pages just a little bit, and the words were in a foreign language, so. Wherever this is, there. Um, uh, wherever this was in the dream, obviously is not in the state of Maine. <laughs> I'm way off somewhere in a foreign country. Anyways, I open this up. I look at this Bible and all of these words, and uh, I started to sing. And this is the part of the old hymn that I started to sing. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchased of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. That's the part that came to me. And then I felt, you know, I felt to sing that again. Blessed assurance. And I, I sung it through the second time. Well, about the fourth time, 
that I was singing that part in that old hymn, I could feel the most wonderful presence of Jesus. So, oh, that was, it was so nice, and I, I woke up after, and I was thinking, isn't the Lord faithful? He always gives me something. He always gives me something for you folks. Feed my sheep. He said, feed my sheep. Do you have any idea how much Jesus loves you personally? I've got a squirrel up in the tree that I take that as an amen. <laughs> Sorry folks, i got to be foolish here, but I am seriously though, this is a very serious matter. Really, do you have any idea how much Jesus loves you? If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, do you, do you have any idea how much that the Holy Spirit is tugging and pulling at your heart right now? You know, it's just that simple. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. As far as living for the Lord, well, just read God's word and lean on the Holy Spirit. He will help you and he will guide you in your walk with the Lord. But believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Oh, the Lord loves you so very much. There was a, a song that came to me. This is kind of off the subject too, but um, I can't remember the song. It just came to me again right now. Um, I remember... It was either early this morning, very very early this morning, or last night. This old song, Never Alone. He promised never to leave me. I don't know if it was that one. I think it was. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. No, maybe it does go along with what I was saying. Whoever that pastor is in this foreign country, maybe he's discouraged. Maybe he's discouraged and he wonders, uh, Lord, is anything being done at all? Are you doing anything through my ministry? Well, he wants, God wants you to know that he is. And don't despise the day of small things. Just because things may not, and this goes for anyone, just because things may not go the way that you think that they should, it doesn't mean that God isn't working. I've been there. I tell you what, I have been there. I've been there when I was so discouraged and all doors seemed to be locked shut. And God would warn me. He warned me in dreams certain things that would happen. And when I saw them happen, I, I wondered, God, why are things like this? Why is this happening? What is going on? Well, he was closing doors left and right in my life to get me going through the right door, which is right here talking to you. So if you're discouraged, there's a fly right near the microphone. <laughs> crazy bugs <laughs> but anyway if you're if you're discouraged and things don't seem to be going the way that you think that they should you're not alone and God's not done <laughs> you know there's a I never I didn't put this camera here for this reason but there's a tree right there I cut a tree down next to that and that one's taller and the other tree was almost 70 feet tall. But you know, that that tree, it didn't grow overnight. Don't despise the day of small things. Because if there's time left in the world, God has a plan. He has a way of working things out. It takes a tree time to grow. It took quite a few years of the Lord leading me to get to where I am now talking to you. It took a lot of years. Very, very discouraging times. So, it takes a tree time to grow, but God is faithful. 
he, uh, he, he does the watering, he does the pruning, he does the cultivating, he gives the rain, but he hasn't forgotten you. You're not alone. And don't, uh, I, I feel to say this, don't be always looking ahead for what God has for you later on. Look right now. Look at today. What can, what can you do for Je for Jesus today? What can it, what can you do for Him today? Tomorrow will take care of itself. Yesterday is gone, forever. But tomorrow may never be in this life anyway. We'll live forever, but we may not be here. You know, we're not we're not always going to be here, that's for sure. And Jesus, I believe, is coming very soon. So, anyways, that's uh, that's about it, folks. Um, that's my little sermonette for the week. <laughs> and anyway, again, if you don't, please don't forget. Um, whether you're notified or not, um, you know, I, I've had a certain amount of subscribers, and I I noticed that it doesn't seem to grow. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but that's all right. It's all good. And uh, I, it doesn't matter to me how many subscribers. If I had 500 subscribers, I would still do what I'm doing. You know, it's not about the numbers, but I just wanted to let you folks know so that if you don't happen to be notified, know that I will, Lord willing, have a video out every Sunday around the same time. And if the Lord gives me something special uh, to share, I'll I'll put something out some other time as well. But anyway, I wanted to tell you that. Anyways, uh, I uh, I'm, I'm going to go down in the woods there just a little ways, but I'm going to give you folks a hug. So you hang right on. I'm trying my best to stay out of the wind. <laughs> I, I I get wind here, and that's what's nice about doing videos Saturday night. But anyway. Keep holding on. Never give up. Never, never give up. Don't ever give up. Because you're not alone. Jesus is with you. Oh Lord, I come to you right now. Lord, I come to you right now. And I just, I know that you love everybody so much. And uh, you're so concerned. That's why you spoke to me. Feed my sheep, feed my sheep. You're so concerned about that one right now that is so heartbroken that words can't describe. And you wonder, you, you've wondered, how can I still be alive and have a broken heart that is like this? Because some people actually die from a broken heart. Oh, Lord, I pray that you would touch this one right now in Jesus' name. I pray that, that they would feel your closeness, your nearness. I pray that you would lift them up and encourage them right now in Jesus' name. And there are those listening right now, oh, you've struggled, you've struggled so hard. The walk has been so hard. I, I, picture, I picture some folks right now, you feel just like you've been going, it's been like an uphill battle. You've been, it's been like you've been walking uphill and the ground is so murky and so slippery and it seems as though that you uh, you have taken two steps three steps and you'll fall three or four steps behind that you slide back so bad that it's just so hard to make any headway the going has been so tough and so difficult it's been it's, it's like going up a mountain and you're climbing over rocks and you've had such a hard time. I don't know why I'm describing this. God knows. You've had such a difficult time that you you wonder how you've made it thus far. And then you look ahead and you can see boulders that are so much bigger than the ones that you have already crossed over. And it has seemed so incredibly impossible to get to where you are right now how are you ever going to finish and go over and reach the top of this mountain when there's 
when there's such obstacles in the way. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray that you would make this rocky, this rockiness, whether it be taken away or whether, whatever, I pray that you would give this person the strength and the ability to continue on and to be so strong that they'll be able to fly over these obstacles. Lord, I know that you will help this person right now. I know that you will help them to get over and to get beyond whatever these obstacles are. Your word says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I believe that, whoever that is, I just believe that they are going to increase. They're going to go by leaps and bounds, and they are going to make it. They are going to make it. Lord, I pray that you would that you would lift, that you would place your finger on the chin of that one. Their head is bowed so low, and they don't feel like that they will ever be able to look up again. I pray in Jesus' name that you would that you would take your finger and lift their chin up, and I pray that they would be able to see to see the light of your glory just ahead and that they would be able to rise above rise above whatever whatever is going on that, that, that you would help them to rise above and to be totally victorious in Jesus name and I pray that you would continue to do that work Lord I'm believing for miracles for people people that are in impossible totally impossible situations where where a doctor or nobody can help them they're trusting you for the impossible by faith in the name of Jesus Lord I just believe that in Jesus name that that they will recover that they will that they will be healed and recover completely and all for your glory in Jesus name in Jesus name thank you Lord for hearing and answering prayer thank you so much Lord I, and Lord one more thing I just pray that you would comfort all those that are in mourning in Jesus name those that are in mourning please help each one that is in mourning that has lost a loved one a close loved one Oh, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I'm just looking up, and uh, <laughs> there could be spider webs up there. There is spider web right in front of me. <laughs> spider webs, and you never know, it could be a hornet's nest. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that make a video? Be praying for you folks and be surrounded with hornets. <laughs> anyway, I don't Forgive me, folks. i got to be foolish here, so I'm God bless and keep you all. You all take care, and bye for now.